all right so i'll go ahead and do the video because i have a very convenient um setting on my desk where i can put my phone on and um, i'll just i'm just gonna use it to make a video so this is gonna be a short one um and i will be talking about alcohol and this is what i'm supposed to watch <laughs> alcohol and maybe drugs um i think i did a post about drugs but um yeah we'll see so i just learned something recently and i really love the explanation and um unfortunately it's in the culture big time so i thought i'd share about it like my perspective and what's going on and what what are the consequences so basically what is alcohol um, we tend to drink alcohol when we need to relax right when we feel like we're super tensed um, I don't know we had a bad day or had a bad breakup or something that's bad happening or you just want to have a good time and you go out with your friends and have an alcoholic drink or you're in a club we call it a social contract where you need to drink alcohol because everyone drinks alcohol um, so basically what's happening is um, alcohol is a spirit right so if you think of it this way a spirit is another energetic entity that is that exists basically separately from you um, for a psychic person for someone who can see that which is not me yet but I know people like that um, if they look at the alcoholic um, bottles, I mean al bottles of alcohol, for example, um, in the store somewhere or I don't know in the bar, um, they'll basically see that each bottle um, contains not only alcohol, but a little bit of a um, entity that looks like a snake. Um, and basically, what you're doing is when you're drinking alcohol. Um, just a little bit of it, you basically take that snake inside of you which immediately puts your whole self, like your state, downwards like it just puts you under the ground, like in the under, underground world so you're not in this world anymore, you just like go go down if you think like this is the line between our world and underground world this is where we normally are when we're sober and then you drink alcohol and you just like kick and so your head is right here so of course if your head is right here you cannot really think straight you cannot do good stuff you probably are silly or laughing or angry or you're fighting or you're calling your exes you're getting into weird situations because you're in this underworld the reason we do that is because we have too much tension in us and when we drink alcohol the alcohol allows us to just slush this energy straight from us like down to the earth which gives us a sense of relief and release um, so it's kind of working right you would think like well it's good I mean that's what I needed I needed to relax so I get my relaxation well yes but it's actually not a good type of relaxation because what happens is you can either get addicted or you're gonna get your little snake inside of you it's gonna stay for you if you're gonna keep drinking it will just stay there and you don't want that I mean so when someone is an alcoholic or alcoholism happens um, is when you basically keep feeding the snake or whatever it is you can just think of it as an energy or anything that's closer to you in your um, you know in your everyday life or your mentality you keep feeding it until it just grows into this monster and then what can happen is the monster can just go from one family member to another it's it's usually it's going from the same gender generations like if father was drinking it would probably go to a son and then so on and so forth um so if you think of that if you drink it for relaxation and you need to release an extra tensed energy that you have inside of you which you have because you feel better if you drink and you feel super stressed and intense when you don't drink you need to figure out ways of how to release this energy in a healthy way healthy ways are 
plenty out there. You just need to think of that or, I don't know, ask your healthier friends or just ask your friends in general or family to help you find other ways. If you can do sports, which is great, like running, for example, or any physical exercise that makes you sweat, because with the sweat, guess what? You get the same energy release. That's why you feel so good when you sweat. So you can do all kinds of like, I don't know, hot yoga, running, um, gym, anything that makes you sweat, that's good. Um, also, you can go out with your friends without drinking and like, I don't know, play board games or just um, uh, just do some activity, something that will help you relax without alcohol. And one thing I want to say personally is whenever someone says that they cannot stop drinking alcohol completely because it's a social contract, I would say it is a BS because I don't do that even if everyone around me drink because I just don't drink. I used to drink red wine. <clears throat> I mean, it's nice for a moment or two while you're drinking it, right? We'll get this nice feeling. But I noticed that I just started feeling like crap next day. And so it doesn't make any sense for me. So why would I keep drinking it? Because I, I felt clearly that I'm even a little bit, I'm still poisoning my body. I just don't feel good. So I don't need to do that. Why would I do that, right? So I stopped drinking like completely. Even the red wine that is super delicious, very tasty. Some say it maybe is good for you, for your health. I just feel that it's not good. So I choose not to at all. And no matter what the occasion is, location, people around me, I just don't drink. It's not a problem for me. Um, I have other reasons too, but I'll just talk about it maybe in another video. So anyway, the point is, if you want to drink, and unless you're addicted to it and it's hard for you, that's a different story. But if you want to drink because you're tensed or you need to relax or it's the end of the week or something, just maybe take a moment and think of something else that you can do that will help you release that energy whatever that is there's plenty like so many things you can do especially here in idaho all kinds of activities outdoor stuff a lot of things so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about and i hope you guys have a good day